So today it's going to be Donald Trump's sinking ship, Lindsey Graham's desperation, and Jack Smith, the special uh, counsel, his ruthless determination. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Look, no one can, can dispute that Donald Trump's ship is taking on water fast. But he's got a couple of years before the, the, you know, the actual campaign starts for president. So is that enough time for him to save himself and save this campaign and, and not be put in jail? We'll see. I've got an idea about that. And then Lindsey Graham, I mean, he had to testify. And what did he say? And has he been slippery enough, desperate enough to kind of get out of, get out of trouble? And then finally, on all of that, the special counsel, Jack Smith, this guy is a killer. If he wasn't a good guy, he would be scary. As a matter of fact, he's a good guy and he's scary. But he's got a ruthless determination, prosecuted war criminals. Yeah, so we'll do some readings on all three of those folks. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, so uh, like I mentioned, um, you know, there's some information at the end of this video about the cards. So if that's something that interests you, if you want to know about these cards that I'm going to use, um, stay and look at that. So Donald Trump's sinking ship, you know, is he going to be able to save it? Is, um, does he have what it takes to make this second go round? He couldn't uh, do it the first time when he was uh, trying to get reelected. And uh, all of his lies and all of his um, manipulations just didn't work. But he got a big, 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 big turnout. I mean, a lot of people in this country are very much, uh, the United States, are very much, uh, you know, Trumpites. And will will follow him off the edge of the globe. <laughs> so the sinking ship, you know, does he have what it takes? Can he muster up? what he needs to to save that ship and if he does what is that going to look like you know is he going to be able to come out of this in some side of some, some sort of a an equitable way if, if not for the presidency will he just save himself from going under and just to remind you these cards have pictures on both sides but uh, before we do any of that let's have just a moment of meditation It'll be interesting to see how this comes out. You know, before um, I make these videos, I have a long, not, not extremely long, but a longer uh, meditation and uh, ask uh, various uh, deities and entities uh, to give me some help with this. And uh, I think it works. So I would suggest uh, that you use that in your own life. You know, take a moment to uh, go over that little uh, prayer meditation. It's useful. I think it provides some protection. And if you think it does, then probably it does. And, um, and then find out uh, who in your life, what figures uh, who pass through, they don't have to be religious figures, have been useful to you and have made, meant something important to you. And maybe you can uh, incorporate that into your daily life or before you make big decisions anyway. But Donald Trump's sinking ship. Let's do three cards first, just to see if the cards think that he'll be able to save his sinking ship in general, whatever that means. It doesn't necessarily mean presidency, it just means his 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 well-being, his financial well-being really is what I'm thinking about. So three cards for that. And what have I done? I have not included uh, the box, which I do like to include. So let's do that right here. So three cards. One, two, three. Can he save his sinking 
ship just three cards and what I do with these cards is because because we can see this side I'll turn them over and we'll interpret them from the other side so the first card is to whether Donald Trump can save his sinking ship six of cups very interesting because the six cups are emotion and compassion, you know, heartfelt situations. These cups are all lined up. They're all uh, planted with, uh, you know, flowers. This fellow is standing on the balcony looking out over all of that. And this card tells us to hearken back to a time in the past when things were kind of better. Okay. Can he save his sinking ship? Interesting card for that. Next card up is, ah, a new journey interesting so the fool is going off on a new journey he sees a light in the sky he's shedding some petals from this um, lily that he's carrying so can he save his sinking ship and then the final card is the ten of cups and the ten of cups speaks to a generational emotional um, if not celebration well well-being or weller being you know better uh, situation so it looks to me like can he save a sinking ship it looks like he might hearken back to something in the past when it was the way it was then of course that's the whole theme of him make america great again but i think in, in talking about his his personal way of being he may try to go back to whatever it was that started his journey on on wealth on success real estate um, and then this card speaks to stepping off on that journey, getting his foot back on the right foot. And he's an old man to be undertaking a new journey. And then the final outcome tells us that maybe the secret to that is uh, looking towards generational emotional well-being. So uh, can he save his sinking ship? It looks like he's got a plan. And it may, as a matter of fact, put the Trump org um off on another journey who knows but uh, that's kind of what that says to me and all i can do is just tell you what i think the cards say tell me what you think the cards say too i, I that's valid i appreciate that now let's do a full celtic cross on that journey so his journey to save his sinking ship what is that going to be i don't think a full celtic cross i'm sorry i shouldn't have said that let's do a dyadic cross okay that's six cards it's kind of like the first six cards of a full celtic cross which is 10 cards um so the the uh, a dyadic cross for donald trump's journey to save his sinking ship what is that gonna be because right now the only money he's got coming in it seems like is the money from the donors who are willing to give money to him and that's going to come to an end i think so let's get six cards to see um what that journey is going to be like so one listen if you haven't subscribed and you've been watching my videos it does help me if you would subscribe i hope you'll think about it and um I don't do this for any other reason that there's an interesting way that I got into reading the cards and uh, maybe I'll tell you that towards the end. So let me make a note though, or I'll forget why read cards because <laughs> I will forget that I said I would do that. And like I said, uh, is this one, two, three, four, five, six? Yes, yeah, six. So what I'll do is I won't read this side of the cards. I'll turn them over and read that side. You know, these are the vice versa tarot. They have a meaning coming and going kind of. So what will his journey <clears throat> what will his journey look like? The signifier card for that, we know it's going to be the world card, but in this case, look at that, it's looking back. You can see here on this side, it's, it's you know, looking forward. This journey is, is come to an end and, and it's looking forward. But on this side, this journey has come to an end and it's looking back. It ties in perfectly with those first three cards I just drew. Interesting. So the signifier as to whether he can save his sinking ship is that he'll be looking back. The challenge to it, then with this Knight of Cups, okay, and again, look at this, this Knight is looking back. You can see here, he's coming forward, but in this card, it's a dark card, it's nighttime here. This Knight is the fighter of the Royal Suite, okay? He's gonna take that compassionate remit that he's been given, and he's going to fight for it, but he's looking to the past for that. Look at this, this almost reminds me, this little piece down here, 
with this crab uh, coming out of the water almost reminds me of the of the secrets being revealed card the moon card so the challenge to looking back and and ending the journey he's on and getting another journey started is this knight of cups looking back over that of some sort of a compassionate uh, motivation I would say the base of this ah the base of the whole thing just like I said is that this journey is ending okay this is telling me and this whole political thing it's it's playing out okay it's coming to a dead stop interesting and then in the past of this as to whether he can save his sinking ship now this is the four of uh, the major arcana and this is the uh, emperor yeah so this is the emperor the emperor and again that's donald this is donald trump he's looking back over his journey he's looking what can i salvage from that what can i take from that to make things happen again if we know one thing about him is he doesn't have many new tricks up his sleeve he keeps playing the same playbook over and over and over again so it looks like he's going to be looking back to his past just like I've been saying, and it's funny that the cards, co you know, collaborate that. In the sky of this, can Donald Trump save his sinking ship? Ah, is the uh, Ace of Swords. And look, victory is flying off. And this is the eagle. This is the U.S. government. The U.S. government is flying off with that victory. That's very interesting. This is Donald Trump here holding up his truth his justice, his rules, his law. But look, it looks like he's falling down in here and, and the U.S. is flying off with that victory. That's very interesting. And that's the best you can hope for. This is the aspirational card in this uh, layout for me. By the way, let me mention, you know, each reader reads the cards in a way that makes sense to them. And that's exactly what I do. So you can't compare what I'm saying or what somebody else is saying to each other very much uh, because it's very personal to us you know it's kind of like uh getting ready to go out uh, in, the, in in your day there's some things that you do to get ready that are personal to you that wouldn't work for somebody else and so that's what reading of the cards is like for each reader i feel the uh final outcome for this as to whether donald can save his sinking ship and so far it's been very reflective is right here wow so repeating the past it looks like if he can capture some little whatever it was that he was doing in the past. And let's see what's the other. The other side of this card was here in the night, in the darkness, looking back. And that's what showed up on the first uh, little three card pull. But on this uh, reading, it comes up as someone needing some help and someone getting ready to pull them up. And this is very interesting. This almost reminds me of Ivanka here. And this reminds me of Jared. Donald's sinking ship, I think, is going to be left in the hands of the next generation. That's very interesting. I'm going to just pull one more card to see if I can validate that little light that came on as far as uh, being left to the next generation. Is that what's going to save that sinking ship and what falls out of the the deck is this uh is this the king this is the king of swords but it's a very feminine looking king isn't it i think there's going to be some victory here in that respect it's the next generation i think is going to pick up the 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 thread and carry something over interesting so can Donald save his sinking ship? And you start out with, uh, the, the journey has ended, okay? It's over. And there's a looking back for a continuation of that journey. And it's challenged by, you know, being the knight of compassion, it meaning so much to you that you're willing to fight with everything you've got. And he was willing to do that. And the base of this whole thing is the very fact that it's done. This cycle, it's over. It's finished. Okay. There's no more continuation here. But the past of it is this emperor kind of reflecting on his empire. Okay. Again, looking back to, to see kind of what can I 
bring forward to make work again. And in the sky of this is that very fight, like the last gasps of this emperor to fight. But look, the eagle has flown off with the victory. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing is actually that looking back to the past was fruitful, but it was left in the hands of another generation. And that other generation is going to take it and, and make a victory out of it. Could it be that the Trump name or the Trump legacy somehow comes forward? It looks like probably it will. Lindsey Graham. Okay. This guy. It's such a disappointment. So I was a fellow who, um, who admired John McCain. I didn't agree with his politics most of the time, but I admired him. And I admired that relationship that Lindsey Graham had with him. That was... It was admirable. I mean, I mean, it was it was it was worth something. But as soon as John McCain was gone, Lindsay told us, if you'll remember, he said, "Don't think." I'll paraphrase, but don't think he's the one who's going to pick up the gauntlet that John McCain had to put down because he's not. And he didn't. He ran to Donald Trump's side. He became Donald Trump's poodle for whatever reasons. So Lindsay Graham's desperation. Um, is his desperation going to save him? Three cards. Is Lindsey Graham's desperation going to save him? One, two, three. Will Lindsey Graham's desperation save him? First card. Well, this is, um, again, the 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 judgment card you know telling us that if you look at it this way it's clear that judgment is going to be passed on these folks but when you look at it this way it's almost like judgment has been passed can lindsey graham's desperation save him judgment has been passed i'm going to leave that in the middle for now uh, the next card on to whether his desperation uh, can save him is this five of wands and the five of wands is pointless arguing wands are actions plans forward movement and the five of wands is pointless arguing the final card for whether his desperation can save him oof the end of a cycle it looks like it cannot okay so that's pretty clear lindsay get graham's desperation judgment has been passed all the bickering is not going to make a difference and uh it's over Okay, it may be a, a slow uh, death at this point, but it's over. So let's see what that journey is going to look like for Lindsay in six cards, uh, that dyadic cross. And um, so here we go. So Lindsey Graham's desperation. Is there something here? Um, what's that journey going to look like for him? Um, is it going to be at her downfall? Is it going to be retiring in a life of comfort and uh, obscurity? Is he going to find a new beginning again? Six cards. One, two, and again, I'll just remind you, if you haven't subscribed and you uh, you, you think you would, please do. Um, as silly as it sounds, it just makes a world of difference. Uh, to me, personally, actually. So, Lindsey Graham, What's the journey going to be like? What's his desperation journey going to be like? We already see that the first cards say, it's done. It's, it's all over. But the signifier card for that is theft and betrayal. Okay? The Seven of Swords. Swords of truth, justice, rules, and law. And the signifier of Lindsay's desperation is sneaking away from the camp. For me, this is the Republican camp. This is Lindsey Graham, and this is him sneaking away. And what's interesting about Lindsey Graham is he's had a very noble life in a lot of ways. His parents um, died uh, when his he and his siblings weren't that old. I mean, he was a, a young man. I think he was in the military or joined the military, and he finished raising either his brother or, or his siblings. I, I've forgotten the actual details of it. But he had a very noble beginning in that respect. But the desperation, the signifier card for this, is theft and betrayal of truth, justice, rules, and law. 
the challenge to that then is this uh, night is this a night or a page I'm gonna turn this over to see if it's clear for me. this is a page okay is this page of cups cups emotion compassion dark feelings that fish that we saw here jumping out as a surprise in that cup is is let free and it's about to 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 fall back into the water this wise turtle has turned its back on Lindsey Graham and Lindsey Graham has turned his back and again is is walking away from from the present the challenge to this theft and betrayal is Lindsey Graham walking away from the present in the darkness the basis of this whole thing is the seven of coins have I done enough and look how forlorn look how sad uh, this this uh, farmer uh, is here his face is just grief-stricken he's looking at this bush that's really died he's got some fruits left on the vine and he's looking at this and thinking uh, what can I still do can I use my tools to to make this thrive again you know have I done enough is there more that I can do to just harvest what's there and there's a lot there. You know, he's not a poor man. In the past of this reading for Lindsey Graham's desperation, we have the 11 uh, card. And gosh, it escapes me, this 11 card. Ah, this is justice. So this is um, justice come for uh, Lindsey Graham. If it were this way, we'd say he's, he's going to face justice. But here we're saying justice has turned its back on him very interesting and what's justice left behind it's left the scales of justice strewn on the floor and it's left the uh the weapon of of truth uh and, and rules and law um just stuck in the ground so interesting the sky of this reading for lindsey graham's desperation is this page of pentacles and again this page has turned his back okay he's looking um at the journey that's already been had okay the cornucopia is empty as far as this is concerned and then the final outcome to lindsey Graham's desperation look at this nine of pentacles this is a very fruitful uh a, a person that's awash in uh, value so he's going to turn away I mean, he will be left with his uh treasure is that enough so Lindsey Graham's desperation what's going to happen you know, these criminals always these bad people I shouldn't say criminal perhaps but that's how I feel these bad people always seem to come out some kind of a as, as some kind of a benefactor but the the signifier of the whole thing for Lindsey Graham theft and betrayal this is him sneaking away from the camp and it's challenged by this uh, page of emotion just with nothing left and it's underscored by this this forlorn feeling of did i do enough no you didn't lindsey graham and in the past right here justice has turned its back but justice has dropped the scales okay it looks like he won't suffer any um horrible uh, debilitating justice and then in the sky of this with this page of pentacles is the even a hint of value the cornucopia is empty even a hint of value has turned his back on him and that's the best he can hope for except that in the final outcome it will be a comfortable um, downfall okay uh, they always end up with the cash don't they Lindsey Graham now Jack Smith's ruthless determination very interesting character here who would imagine someone with such a a common place name Jack Smith John L I think is his middle name Smith um, I think he's in his 50s um, so Jack Smith's ruthless determination okay is he going to unleash what I want to know is is Jack Smith gonna unleash that ruthless determination on just Trump because I think it's predetermined that's what's gonna happen or will others get caught up in it they have to, don't they? So Jack's, Jack Smith's ruthless determination. Let's do three cards to see. I want to know if he's going to ensnare others in this situation. Jack Smith's 
ruthless determination. Three cards to begin with. One, two, three. Jack Smith's ruthless determination. On Thanksgiving Day, he responded to some motions that were filed. Uh, the signified card, ah, look at this. His ruthless determination, practicing his craft, getting it just absolutely right in this Eight of Pentacles. Next card, building something for public display. More Pentacles, more worth. And look, usually this card shows up as a collaborative card. There's two or three people in there with it, but this guy is doing this on his own, basically. I mean, and then the final card for Jack Smith's Ruthless Determination is, look at this, moving out of troubled water. Taking that truth, the justice, the rules, the law. She's carrying a cup of compassion. This is Jack Smith propelling this craft into, um, into a better, less troubled waters. So his Ruthless Determination cannot be stopped. It can't. But that didn't answer the question as to whether he's going to ensnare some others in that. So let's hope that these next six cards for this dyadic cross will focus on whether some other, because I have no doubt that Trump's going to get caught. Let's pull one card to see if Trump will go down, will go down because of Jack Smith. Look at that. Tied to lesser intention. And the devil has turned his back on Donald Trump in this card. The devil's not on his side here. The devil has said, I'm done with you. You're on your own now to Donald Trump. But let's see uh, whether he will actually, uh, Jack Smith will actually ensnare some other people and everybody goes down with Donald Trump's sinking ship. Cloaked in Lindsey Graham's desperation. <laughs> so Jack Smith, six cards. What's that journey going to look like for the everyone involved. Remember, subscribe. I need your help. It's an easy thing you can do. And it's very much appreciated. So six cards for Jack Smith's uh, Ruthless Determination. Signifier card is this three of wands. Wands are actions, plans, forward movement. The three of wands is long-term plans. Yes. Yes. The short-term plan is to ensnare Trump, but the long-term plan is to clean up the field. Very interesting. This even looks a little bit like Jack Smith right here. Look at that. Holding the yin and the yang of this situation. It got a good grip on this fiery uh, uh, staff uh, of, of uh, forward planning. Long-term plans. The challenge to that is this Ten of Pentacles is familial value. Interesting. I'm not quite sure off the top of my head how to interpret this, but uh, you know, Pentacles are value. The Ten of Pentacles um, typically, typically speaks to generational wealth. Okay, so oh, this is interesting. So the challenge to these long-term plans is getting the family, perhaps. Or the family of criminals. But yeah, there's a lot of value in that. The basis of this for whether Jack's ruthless determination will ensnare others is look at this. This is the world card coming to an end. The cycle is over. This is coming towards us, showing us, yes, here we're coming. This is coming to an end and something else is going to happen. That's the basis of this whole thing. And then the, the past of this for Jack Smith's ruthless determination with this four of wands, wands are actions, plans, forward movement, and the four of wands, some people call it the wedding card, but I call it the celebratory card. These are smallish celebrations on towards something bigger. So yeah, so in the past is this four of wands. Let me leave that for a moment before I elaborate on it. And then in the sky of this for Jack Smith's ruthless determination is the wheel of fortune. And look at that. It's turning in the positive direction. It's coming around. Even this still looks like Jack Smith. It's coming. And the final card for uh, Jack Smith's ruthless determination, whether he'll round up some other folks. Well, 
This is that page of pinnacles, the page of value, the very weakest of the, of the court cards, uh, bringing um, you know, a message forward to the court to say, consider this. Like I said before, that cornucopia is empty and he's looking for the value in the sky. So let's read it all and then we'll come to a conclusion. So Jack Smith's ruthless, ruthless determination will he ensnare some other folks in that whole thing. And it starts out right here with this three of wands, long-term plans. And this is Jack Smith's ruthless determination, the long-term plans. And it's challenged by this, this generational value. Interesting. It's challenged by either producing some generational value or digging, I think it's producing some generational value for our, for our justice, for our democracy. The basis of this then is that this whole world, this whole cycle is coming to an end and something new is about to, that's the whole basis of this, getting this done, getting this behind us and moving forward. And then in the past of this thing is just the celebration of that. These, these wands, these four wands, is truth, uh, these uh, plans, actions, forward movement, these are celebrations, okay? These folks are running into the future uh, with those celebrations. And in the sky of this uh, reading with this, um, Wheel of Fortune is just telling us the Wheel of Fortune is turning in Jack Smith and democracy's favor. And then the final outcome is just this very weak uh, page of pentacles. I think this is telling us there's not much value that's going to be left, okay, behind. That cornucopia of uh, criminality is going to be uh, over. I think that's what we've got here. So that's how it looks to me. How does it look to you? So that was uh, that was interesting. Um, I hope you liked what we talked about and you agreed uh, with uh, the interpretation of the cards. And if you didn't agree with the interpretation of the cards, just tell me. Let me know what you think. And if you let me know what you'd like me to read on, I'll read on that. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. So these are Los Scarabio cards. This is the Visa Versa Tarot. And uh, I'm going to tell you, the, the folks who have this idea have some difficult names, but I'm going to try to get through it. So Massimiliano, Filadoro, Lunea, Weatherstone, and the artwork by David Corsi. So nice, nice, nice cards. They've got that cool kind of magnetic clasp that's really neat to get. The box, if you gave it as a gift or if you received it, you think, wow, this was a very thoughtful gift. They've got all these nice little pulls that you can unpack everything easily with. And the uh, guidebook is a color guidebook, easy to read, um, and lots of thought and intention into these uh, suggestions for the divinations that you can use. Um, the cards, again, have this nice little pull that you can get them out of the box with. But what I really love about these cards, well, it intimidated me for a long time, actually, is that there's no front and there's no back. There's a this side, which is indicated by the little embellishment on the right-hand side of the, of the card. And then there's a that side, which is in, indicated by a little embellishment, embellishment on the left side of the card. So you kind of get the idea that this is um, um, the, and there's no right and there's no wrong, there's no good and there's no bad. It's just that um, a different um, view on how to divine this card when it comes up. So the problem with them is that when you're shuffling them, you know, you know, once you've dealt your cards, you know what's going to be on the other side because, you know, it's there. So, you know, you're going to know that this is a uh, King of Cups uh, right away. Uh, if that doesn't bother you, if you can divert that from your mind, the cards are beautiful. And uh, so you see that the artwork goes right to the edge. Um, they give you nice hints. Uh, on the cards as to how they, uh, what they are, because so, sometimes that can be an issue when you're trying to figure out uh, how to use these cards. And it doesn't matter which way you put them out, because there's a this and a that side, and uh, you've got uh, work, things to work with. So it's almost like you're getting two decks of cards in one. And uh, it used to intimidate me, but now I love using these cards. And uh, they're glossy, they're easy to use, they slide off of each other, but not too in a bad way. And um, I like to spread them out like this so that, uh, or if I have a reading for someone, let them spread them out so that people kind of get their energy into the cards. And so this is the this and that, uh, vice versa tarot. And uh, I love them. Well, coming back tomorrow, I'll be doing it all again. So ciao for now.
really make a big difference. Thank you.